How you doing? Welcome to another edition of Jason Anthony's Photoshop Tutorials. In this segment, I am going to show you how to combine two normal JPEG images and combine them to make them look like one picture. So, first thing we're going to do is go over to File, Open. Um, I'm going to grab one of these. Uh, I'm going to grab any image. Let's grab. This old, uh, the, this is just a drawing I did of just a set of eyes. Let me get the setting the way I want them for you to, um, the best way for you to see exactly what's happening is to maybe get the settings, you know, like this. Just give me one second. Okay, so now that we have the settings the way I want them, now I want to add something to this. So I'm going to add a eyebrow ring to this guy. Uh, and I got an eyebrow ring off of the internet. So we're going to go over to File, Place. We click on the image that we want to add. Um, hit Enter. Now, we can add either one of these. Uh, as you can see, there's a little, it's almost like a do not do sign right here. Um, so it's telling us, you know, when we go to, first thing we're going to want to do, sorry, is erase whatever we don't want to use. So I just want to use this eyebrow ring right here, okay? So I want to erase all this stuff. So I'm going to go over to my eraser tool, click on it come over here and when I go to click it's gonna tell me that the image must be rasterized before I can manipulate it so when I click on it to erase it, it says basically I must rasterize it so I just hit enter to say okay and now I can erase whatever I'd like okay so you know I can just erase everything so I could sit here and try to get as close as I have to to erase all of it or I could grab my magic wand tool which you can go over, you can hit W for wand, or you can go over and click it, the magic wand tool. Click, now this is going to be kind of simple because it's all white. You know, everything that I kind of want to get rid of, for the most part, is white. So after I click, I can hit delete. Hit Command D to deselect, or Control D if you're using a PC. Go back to my eraser get it as big as you know I, I want it to be and um, just erase whatever I'm not gonna use anymore so I don't want to use this So now I just want to use this right here obviously it's too big so now I'm gonna go over to the move tool when you're on the move tool as you can see there's transform controls which means I can now go over to the corner if I hold shift I can now make it as big or as small as I want. So I'm going to want it about that size. Hit enter. Bring it over to here. Now obviously, I mean, I added an image to it, but it doesn't look realistic. It doesn't look realistic because you, you know, it's not you have to have it go through a skin a little bit. So now we're going to take the eraser brush again. And we are going to just get rid of a little bit in the middle here. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, we can add little effects to make it look a little more realistic. Like what I'll do is I'll go over to the effects. I'll go over to Drop Shadow. And... Uh, You know, maybe make it look a little more like, you know, it's, it's, um, see, you can add a drop shadow to it, you know, obviously, it's right on his skin, so the drop shadow would be really close, like that, and, uh, this is what it looks like with the drop shadow, this is what it looks like without, you decide, whatever you want to do, I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit to make it just very subtle, hit OK, 
And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, um, that's it. So thanks for viewing, and um, we'll see you next time on Jason Anthony's Photoshop Tutorials.